Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our final match of day three at the Engage International Open 2006, held here at the International Hall, Ponds Ford, Sheffield. We have number one seed, Greg Harlow, last year's winner, playing Hong Kong qualifier, Robin Chok. Greg here's put up a, a short jack, 23 and a half metres. And Greg is holding one shot at the moment. So if we look here at the betting odds, um, Greg Harlow clearly favourite, 1 to 12, 12 to 1 on, Robin Schock 6 to 1. Robin about to deliver his last bowl at this end. And he's given it a bit of weight. He's just removed his bowl and I think probably left two red. Two shots to red it is. Confirmed by marker Alan Marshall. Cameraman on my camera at the moment will pan out so we can see the ball come in.
Well, I'm not sure if the mark has indicated who's holding shot there, but all three balls look very closely positioned. And I think that final bowl has answered the question for us. It's at least one red. Delivering his final ball of this end. Down the forehand side, giving it a bit of width. A bit more weight than the previous three balls. Ends up about a yard beyond the jack outside positions at the moment, but Robin giving this a bit of weight. Aiming to remove, but just, just too thin, taking his own ball out. And three shots red to Greg. quickly into a 5-0 lead after two ends. Again, another short jack. Just work out what length that is. Advise you on screen in a moment. Well, 24 and a half metre jack. Greg's first ball tight on the front of the jack, front toucher. Robin just delivered the ball, his first ball, about a metre and a half beyond the jack in line with the bowling line. Greg delivered his second ball about one foot six, just short of jack eye to the right of the jack. Red currently holding two shots. This third end.
Greg delivers his final bowl down the forehand. Just a bit more weight. And a good back back bowl. As Robin tries to just drive it through. And he's going to draw on the backhand side. Squeeze in between red bars, but he's just got too much width there, and it's just gone past. So two red, two shots to red. So at the third end, Greg's leading 7-0. Robin yet to score. Another short jack. You bear with us. We'll give you details of the length. Another 24 and a half metre jack, consistent there. Greg likes these relatively short lengths. It's a bit short on his first bowl. Robin even shorter. Just making the adjustments and delivering second bowl, which looks very much on track. Beautiful touching ball. Another fine delivery there. Perfect weight. Drops just wide to the right of the jack. Present a big target though to Robin, who's delivered his third bowl with a bit of pace. Just squeezed the jack, forced it leftwards. So I think he's just holding one green. He's backward. On the green is uh, is live. I think the ball. Greg just capturing that end there. Robin just delivering it short, so
Greg powering his way to a 8 0 lead after four ends. Green again, Greg liking these short jacks, just delivered one 24 meters. Put the ball, his bowl, first bowl right in front of it. Three inches short of the jack. Robin likewise, but about one foot six behind. Four balls in the line. Red holding two. Looks like they're trying to line them up behind the jack. Five in the line. Just didn't have the legs to creep past Greg's first bowl. Greg's still holding shot. Just the one now. Superb weight there from Greg, just delivering the bowl a few inches to the right of the jack on the forehand side. Holding two shots. Robin probably coming now down the backhand side. Yes, he does. Trying to the right line and wait to edge past Greg's bowl, but just wide with the right weight, but just the wrong line.
Well, Greg's off to a very confident start in his uh, first round match against Robin. Robin yet to score. Big stage for him, shaking his head there, just a little short on that forehand side. Nothing going right for him at the moment, but um, with this format, anything can happen. You can lose really heavily in the first set, scrape by in the second set, and win the tie break if he looks with you. Greg shows no sign of cracking though at the moment. Like Red's holding just the one shot at the moment. But Robin on that forehand looks as though he's promoted his ball. And Mark Alan Thornhill there confirming one green. Praying that Greg doesn't remove this and for him to achieve his first points on the board. Greg going looks rather narrow from he's going to hit his front woods. No. It's like Robin's first points on the board. You want to capitalise in on this and Sneak in between the his rightmost green wood and Greg's front right wood. Sneak in the gap between the two. Is he doing it? Looks as though that's a perfect weight. Two shots. No, just one shot to green. So after six ends, Greg's leading 10-1. Firmly in control of this first round match. Another relatively short jack, 25 and a half metres. It looks like we've been joined by a, a guest commentator. Brett O'Reilly, who joined us yesterday. I'll temporarily pass you over to him for give you further commentary on this match. So Greek hello and commanding form in this few seat, the world number one. Just showing um, showing some great form, but at last Robin Chock's on the board. 10-1, and that'll give him some confidence as we um, get closer to the second set. It's not over yet, but um, but at 10-1, pretty hard to see Greek Harlow being beaten in this game. Hello, of course, um, has won this international open event sponsored this year by Engage Mutual Assurance on the last two occasions and bidding for a, a record third um, title in a row and, and certainly his form today demonstrates he's going to be very hard to beat in this event. Robin Chop, first time on the portable rink 
and like a lot of the, the qualifiers, just finding the um, the pace of the game a little bit a um, little bit much for him. That will give him a bit of confidence. Just slips past, falls back. Mark Allen Thornhill has a look at the the head, and and it's one to Greg Harlow. Harlow swapping over to the forehand side, and again he's very close here. Just slips past Robin Chock's ball. Chuck now. Breaking into the head and he's close here. Will he get past the ball? No, he won't. Just struggling with weight in this game, and, and really, um, you, you need to be very consistent to hit off a player like Greg Harlow. So it's one red at the moment, and Harlow now with last ball to make it two and wrap up this first set. Like he's added another shot here. Yes, two to two to red, and it is Greg Harlow who's won this first set against Robin Chop from Hong Kong, and uh, by 12 shots to one, very commanding performance from Harlow. So Robin Chop, he can afford to put put the first set behind him, and now concentrate on the second set and try and get back into the game. Well, Bert, you really have to feel uh, a little bit sorry for him. It's a bit unfortunate. It's uh, play a top 16 player on any day. To suddenly fall into the world number one is a pretty tough ask, isn't it? He's at his Greek hollow, um, uh, really at the top of his game um, uh, in the last few years. He's um, you know, now world number one. He's won this event you know, twice in a row. He knows this, um, this arena here at, um, at Ponds Forge in Sheffield. And, He's, um, he's going to be one of the favourites to win this engage International yeah. Open. Absolutely. Um, but um, great experience for Robin Chocker. I think what we've seen this um, this week is the players who have who have um, played on the portable rink before, like the Jamie Hills and the Richard Morgans. Um, definitely, that experience that they get from from playing in the in their initial tournaments serves them in good stead long term. <coughs> We're just going to have a, a measurement here. Robin, who uh, led the way, Alan Thornhill, showing a little bit of uh, pace along this rink here. Are you yes. allowed to run on the green? Yes, I, I actually thought it was an earthquake, um, but, um, but it was just Alan Thornhill running, <laughs> up, uh, running up the portable rink. And Ian Brown Daly oh. determined that the, uh, the jack... It's gone back. Well, these umpires don't get out much. A bit of excitement for them to have to measure a jack. Here is Greg Harlow's last five tournaments. Um, oh, sorry, these are his five tournaments here, and you can see that uh, he really bur burst onto the scene in 2001 and got to the final against Ian Bond, and Greg was new on the scene then. And you can see uh, round one and round two. So he's, he's been in three finals in five years. It's not bad going, and won the last two. Yes, no, he's, he's been an exceptional form, very consistent, steady player, and um, and very hard to beat to be here. So, but having said that, the, you know the few sets over, Robin Chock can now just settle down and try and um, try and get himself back into the second set. The one thing he must do is he mustn't do what he just did with that last ball. He must reach the head with his balls and give himself a chance. Greg Harlow was just too good a player to not put the pressure on. Yeah, and, and if there's one. One thing that is, um, that's been noticeable in the, in the games here, and that is the first player to the jack gets a huge advantage. 
one to Greg Hallis. Took plenty of room there. Of course, um, Greg has come through the tough way. He's uh, only recently been in the top 16, of course, the last um, three, four years. And as we've said, for an Englishman to get through to the top 15, it's very, very tough. Six rounds of qualifiers. And um, I think it really is. You're looking at that Bupa final, which really set him on his way. Good bit of the points there from that tournament. And that really helped him to get into the top 16. And now, in recent form, he's, he's not looking back at all, is he? Yes, I think that, that's exactly right, Adrian. Um, um, when he won this event two years ago, it was just the confidence that he obviously needed. Up until then, he'd been he'd been very promising, but but perhaps not um, really fulfilled that promise. But he certainly has in recent times, and that's a great ball from Greg Hallow. Um, Greg at his best. Um, so wonder Harlow, um, Robin Chock, he must reach this. He must be looking to to reach it with his third ball. Well, Robin's giving a good account of himself here. He was looking very nervous beforehand when I saw him strolling around the back. Oh, he's, he's let himself down here. This is short. He's again, again, not not getting his balls into play, and and that's really this really is um, fatal at this level. You must must um, be making sure those balls are um, are in play. Yeah, unusual too because um, Robin, coming from Hong Kong, used to playing on the heavier surfaces. Um, but obviously just struggling to touch and there's Greg Harlow again at his best another touch, two in a row from, from Harlow he's just nailing the jack isn't mm. he Robin shot now again on the backhand side looking to reach up to the shot bowl he's played a better one here just gets a skid off his front pole, so a little unlucky. He certainly had much better weight that time, but it's two to Harlow. And um, he, even though he's got two shots here, we're looking to add a third. One of the one of the hallmarks of Greg Harlow is um, is his ability to to play consistently with all four bowls, and um, you know very you know very good at adding that bonus um, that bonus shot when he's holding. So again, he'll play the back inside, and he'll be looking just to come round that bowl of um, of Robin Chocks and add another shot. A nice arc on the bowl. Starting to break now. Again, just just slips past, but um, you can just see the the form of Harlow there. Yeah, a good line, just slightly over. Two shots to Harlow, and he leads the second set by two shots to nil. He's in real control here, just looking at uh, Robin Chock's pro player profile. He's uh, 27 years old, single, lives in the Happy Valley, and his occupation is a sports researcher, so I think that might mean journalist. Yes, um, Robin plays at the Craig and Gear Club in, um, in Hong Kong, one of the, the, f the finest indoor facilities there, um, which is um, just attached to the Happy Valley race course. Um, and uh, Robin just living nearby um, and, and certainly he's had a pretty meteoric rise in, in Hong Kong in recent times um, but, but I think the first, you know, his first time on the, on the Port of Bruin can, and it can be quite a daunting um, daunting experience um, yeah. playing in a large arena like this um, TV and uh, live video streaming cameras bearing down on you and a, and a, and a reasonable size crowd in as well. The, the silence out there is deafening as well. It's really noticeable. It's so quiet that, it, you know, it just, I was speaking to Richard Bird about this and he was saying it's really off-putting in, in a way. There's nobody just walking around talking. They're all there, keeping silent, watching you play and it puts a bit, a bit more mm. pressure on. Yes, it is very, um, very much like that. Um, just looking across in the crowd, I see Adam Poynton from Hong, formerly of Hong Kong, now back in uh, England. Adam, uh, Adam and his wife. Um, on the other side, the Adam recently returned to um, oh, yeah. uh, to England from uh, from Hong Kong, and Adam uh, has been a he's been in the uh, WBO uh, World Bowls tour. He's uh, played a few tournaments, hasn't yes, he? Yes, yes, he's been here f a few times, and uh, was also very involved in administration in Hong Kong, and with both um, the Hong Kong World Bowls Association and with the uh, the Professional Bowls Association. So it's one degree, Carlo. Robin Chot looking to try and sit that ball, but again, he's narrow. Good weight, but um, but just narrow. Robin's playing with Taylor Ace, size 4 here. 
and uh, Greg Harlow, of course, will be playing with the Hens tonight. Greg, uh, Greg being one of the the um, the player representatives for Hens tonight here in the United Kingdom, and um, I'll be just a little unhappy with that one. That's one of the, the few short bowls we've seen from him when he's been holding. So it's one to Harlow, but a good opportunity here for Robin Chock. Everything to play for here with it. With the right weight. Yeah, well, the format here, the first set was very heavy towards Greg Harlow, but a, sh a good shot here from Robin. If you can take the jack through, there could be a three in here. And he's playing. Has he got it? Yes, he has. That's oh, a great shot from Beautiful. Shot. Beautiful. Yes, much more confident shot from the, the, um, the youngster. Just um, watching the replay here. Um, uh, on his backhand, perfect weight. Good percentage shot, rest the shot ball and just kisses at the, yeah. the jack and that's 2-2 two, two, uh, Robin Chock. It's actually unfortunate not to have had a third, his own ball stopped the jack there but considering the fact that Greg still has a ball to play I'm pretty sure he's happier actually having tied up the jack a little bit tighter. Yes, yes I agree, I think um, yeah, with the jack um, behind his ball there, Harlow with a couple of options here. Um, does he just draw on the, the backhand or will he play with a bit of forcing weight on the forehand? And, Looks like he's going to play the forehand. He'll be looking to reach up to those bowls, looking for a bit of contact on the, the shot bowl or on the second shot. He's not far away. He's close. He might just be a shade narrow. He gets oh. the shot bowl, but he doesn't get um, wow. get the contact with the jack. So it's two to Robin Shock. Yes, there it is again on the forehand. Just gets a touch on the shot bowl, but, uh, but doesn't get it firm enough to get it onto the jack. So Robin Chock now swapping over to the forehand. Now why is he playing forehand here? Because I'm looking at this head and thinking, well, a backhand surely, Brett. Yes, um, perhaps a little worried about turning um, Greg's ball on there, but really there was a good backhand shot there. But he's close here on the forehand. Very close here to getting another shot. Does yeah, he? And he's got it, hasn't he? Yes, yes. Oh, it's fallen out. Warm applause from the, the crowd. That's a much more confident. Uh, I didn't hear the call there, and I think our scorer heard it. Well, we uh, may have queried the uh, which hand he played on there, but three shots green given, confirmed by Alan Thornhill on the rink. So that's a that's, that's just what he needed. Yes, that's a very that's a very confident um, confident booster for Robin. Um, you know, again, just played that in much better. You know, for all all four bowls of his were past the jack. Probably the first time we've seen that in the game yeah. so far, and um, and that'll give him the an idea of the recipe that he needs to to um, to perform in this game. Well, I think uh, you're absolutely right. You know, if, you, if you're bowling jack, uh, bowling balls short, we've seen it um, in a few matches here this week. That uh, it really is just a wasted bowl. It's never going to count. And well, here's another one. Look at this. Well, that's that's a metre and a half. Yes, and um, in, a, in Australian terms, we'd call that a shocker. <laughs> um, I'm learning a lot of terms from down under. With Calvin being with me a few times. Yes, and. And rhyming slang, you'd call that a Barry Crocker, a dead set shocker. <laughs> and, um, and and Greg Harlow's also dropped short here, but that is the shot. Yeah, so those balls won't be counting at all towards the end of this end. So they've got those out of the system. As a police car mm. goes whizzing past here at Ponds Forge, I'm sure you can hear that on our court mics. Certainly the comments from the players has been that the rinks paid a little slower in this direction, so um, not the first time we've seen two short bowls, and this is a much better bowl from Robin Chockey, we've been very happy with that. Yep, we just need to see that on our cameraman, we just need to zoom out, see the ball coming in there. So, um, so a, a good tight bowl from Robin Chockey, nice recovery from the first bowl. And, um, a bit of pressure here on Greg, isn't there? Yeah, you know, but suddenly, nothing like being on the board, um, yeah. Adrian, to give a little bit of confidence, but... Uh, Greg's close here. Might just be slipping oh, under. Good shot. He gets the jack, but I think it's still one to Robin Chock. Yes, yeah. it is. The beauty of this format, isn't it, Brett, that uh, in the old days of 21 up and you know, if you were 12-1 down, you might as well just go home. But here, Robin, if he can sneak this set, 
and uh, we're into tiebreaker. So, yes, definitely anything's possible, and, we, and we've already seen uh, with the, the performance from Andrew Easy yesterday against Les Gillett um, that yep. um, you can lose the first set, then settle into your work, and, um, and often it's yep. the player who wins the second set who goes into that tiebreaker so with a bit more momentum. In fact, that's just, just a statistic. I've got to look up on our software. To, uh, we've got the past five years, and we, we did actually present that lovely shot from Robin. He's a little unlucky just to sit his own bowl up, but um, but he holds lice too. And, uh, and as you said, Adrian, suddenly the pressure on Greg Harlow. Um, yes, an excellent um, replay there from Peter, our, um, uh, our... Fingers, fingers Wixon. Ever exhaustive ever exhaustive <laughs> technician, engineer and general web guru. We just need to come out on this camera. Next ball is going to be coming down any second. So Greg's going to swap over and play the forehand and I think you'll see him attacking here. Yep. Yes, he's, he's on, on the with weight. He's on the probe. Come out on this camera. Here we go. Oh, oh well. <laughs> well. It's like a pinball machine in there. Yes, he got the contact on the front pole. He got. He pushed his own ball through the that, that tiny gap, and when the dust settled, it's still two to Robin Chock. Here we go again. He gets the front ball of Chocks. He gets his own ball. Oh. Pushes it through the gap. Some nice degree angles coming out there. That was quite freaky seeing that. So it's two to Robin Chock. He must. He must ensure that he reaches here. And he's played another good ball. Yeah, very close here. Really in the zone here, and well, the build-up you were giving him, he's living up to now here, Brett. Yes, he just stops past. Not probably what he wanted. He really needed to be, to be looking to try and move the jack away from his bowl, just to reduce that target because it is a very large target for Greg to hit. Still, it's, um, it's Greg who has to, um, has to get the contact. Again, he'll play the forehand, and again he'll be attacking. On the probe, coming down the forehead side, and he's close. He's got something. Is he going to follow it through? Oh, that's incredible bounce! It's gone sideways, and it looks, it looks like, like it'll be. It. Wow, this could be two. It could be three. So that's looking at the replay, he gets the jack, but it's the slice from hell off the off the bowl of Robin Chocks. It's one, he's two. Given, he's given out. two, and two, two it is. Incredible. I don't know if we can see that again, Peter, but that was just quite um, that was just quite um, a freaky uh, freaky bounce back there from that um, from that uh, heavy shot from Greg. We'll have a look at it in a second, but it's so it's five, five shots two. to two to Robin Chock after three of nine ends in the second set. Um, Greg Har Harlow having won the first set 12-1 and here we see the replay again so it was Harlow on the forehand probing into the head he got the jack which is what he wanted but he got the slice oh. of hell off that bowl narrowly really? missed his <laughs> bowl coming through and when the dust had settled it was two to Robin Chop so into the fourth end um, Robin Chop going for a, a three-quarter length end sometimes you need a little bit of luck in this game Brett yes and he's up He's out on the forehand side now. He, he's got to he's got to start this end well. Keep the momentum going, and he has. Again, just a little bit short. Um, well, Greg's got some work to do here. Five two down. Dropped a three and a two in successive ends. Considering in the previous nine ends, he'd only dropped one shot to Robin. I don't think the alarm bells are ringing yet. But yes, good, good opener from Greg Harlow. He needs to win this end, and that's a great ball. Again, we see the um, the weakness of falling short with that first ball. Robin Chock's got to be disciplined and make sure he reaches the head. Leads 5-2. He has the momentum going with him. He needs to maintain it by, by making sure that his balls are counting. And again, he's fallen short. That's a shocker. That's two. Yeah. That's two shocking balls at this level. This is sometimes something that you see as a difference between the top players. That here we have one of the qualifiers who's just had a great end, and then can't follow it up at the next. And 
We've seen this mm. on past occasions sometimes. If it is, I don't know if it's just that they, you know, they get a little bit excited and mm. they... Yeah, maybe just a little bit of an adrenaline going. Now he needs to settle himself down and, um, and draw a close bowl with this, um, um, this one. He's two down um, and he really needs to, to consolidate his position in the game with a good close bowl here. Looking short again. And he's perhaps a little unlucky to get a touch on his um, on his front ball. He, he may have had had better weight, but um, and, and perhaps a little unusual because the last Ian Plant coming this way when he scored two, he actually played the other hand. Um, but um, but anyway, um, and Craig's just turning the screw here. Yeah, brilliant ball from uh, from Harlow. You know, you you just can't need a player of this of his class. Uh, you can't give him that much room. So, so Robin Chop now he leads five two. He's three down on the head, and he needs to draw at least second shot here. Much nice. more fluent delivery from the Hong Kong player that time. Got his arm through with a nice follow through, and he's a bit closer here. He's a lot closer here. This is a He's a lot closer ball. here. That's a wonderful ball for oh, Robin Chop. What a marvellous recovery. And it's that's one to Robin Chop. That's the bowl of the match. After three shockers. If you looked at if you looked at his delivery then you saw a much more fluent swing from Robin Chop really getting his, his follow through going and and um and the and the the um, the result at the other end was um was very good. Greg's having a look here. Now the important feature here is Greg has all the balls at the back and he's just having a look if he maybe puts weight on. Yes, he'll be looking to come down and, and uh, play down to his red balls. Contact with either of those balls is likely to get him the shot. Um, if he gets a contact with the with the um, the first bowl, um, we're likely to see the jack move. If we get a contact with the second bowl, we'll definitely see Robin Chock's ball move. Yeah. And potentially the jack with it, so Harlow be on the backhand side. Not, an, not an easy shot to play, and he's playing with weight. He's coming to clear the green out. He's got all the red balls at the end. Yes, pops it out. Oh, lovely shot, but the green has stayed on the ring. Yes, I'm a little unlucky for Greg Harlow. It, it, it wasn't really the ball he wanted. Well, he did get the one shot after all. Yes, it was a it was a good um, good result for um, for Greg Harlow, and, and to be honest, Adrian, not a bad result for Robin Chop because that could potentially have been a disaster. Yeah. Um, in for him. So, if we watch the replay again, this green had have gone out. It was four. So Greg, um, getting um, getting the the front bowl, but not quite getting it full. If he'd got it full, I think that bowl would have been propelled right right off the rink. But he just got half of it, and that um, just ensured that Robin Chock still, um, his ball stayed on the rink. Yep. So 5-3 to Chock. We've played four of nine ends in the second set. Into the fifth end, and, uh, and Greg Harlow shortens the, the jack up, and immediately plays a, a very good ball, about, um, about 14 inches past the jack. Not sure the jack length there. We'll, uh, we'll wait for our stato just to... Robin Chop on the forehand side. Well, it's great. He's really up the game, and well, he's playing the world number one here. Yeah. And look at this. Yes, great first ball from Robin Chop. Um, that's a toucher. Mark Allen Thornhill administers the chalk spray. And uh, Greg Harlow's got a game on his hands here in the second set. But um, nothing the world number one, of course, can't handle. Yeah, he's very experienced. He's won the last two tournaments on this rink in this venue. So still one to Robin Chock. Greg Harlow just dropping short. Robin Chock just checking with Mark Allen Thornhill the position of the jack in relation to his shot pole. And he'll be looking just to try and come past the, the shot pole for another shot.
This one is not bad either. <laughs> He's really it's a good found ball. his form in this direction. Yes, it's a very good ball from, from Chalk. Uh, Greg Harlow's ball just sits down, and that's two to Robin Chalk. Well, we'll have a look at the scorecard for the match so far after this end. But Greg's in a little trouble here. Well, what he, he'll, be, he'll, be want, he'll be conscious of not wanting to let Robin Chalk settle into a, into, um, into a rhythm. And Greg's just having a look at the head here and just obviously pondering, do I try and draw a shot on that, that backhand side, which he said played very well during the game, or do I attack? Well, on the screen you see the scorecard. Oh, you did. Well, look at it at the end. So it's concentrate at the uh, so it's two to here. Yeah, so it's two to Robin Chock and Greg Harlow. He's going to be attacking on the forehand side, probing down that forehand side again, and looking for a result. He's going for weight. He's looking to clear the greens. He gets oh. the contact, and that's a great ball from Beautiful. from Harlow. And it's a new game now. It's a new end here. Jack's totally free. Lovely replay. So Chock. Yeah, so on the forehand, gets the contact on Chock's bowl, splits the, the two Chock bowls off the rink, propels the jack back, but there's plenty of room here. Now the thing is, I'm just having a look here, yeah, where are the other green balls? Cause well, I think it's probably one red, but there's certainly plenty of room here for um, for um, for Robin Chock now. just needs to compose himself, take his time, which he is, just recalibrate the, the length now the jack's moved. He's played two good balls already on this end. Now he must play a third. He's coming down the forehand side. And he's close. Very close here. That's good. That's a good ball from Robin Chop. Excellent adjustment. Now I wonder, but I think Greg has got second, third and fourth balls here. And I just wonder whether you'd be tempted to have a pop here. Well, not, not, not that green out, and well, Robin's Robin's still got one ball to come, so I think um, I think uh, Greg will look to to try and draw a tight shot here, and just ensure that um, that that he keeps the pressure on um, on Robin. Still plenty of room there for um, for for Greg Harlow, and he's played this backhand side pretty well. Let's see how he goes here. Hence, light ball starts to break now towards the head, and he's close. He's very close here, and that's the mark of a oh, true champion. Beautiful. Great ball from Harlow. Perfect adjustment. He's um, pl played that ball brilliantly. So it's one to Harlow, but it's Robin Chock who has the last ball, and a good opportunity here. He'll be looking to come down on the forehand to turn his own ball over or just slip inside it for um, for the shot. Everything to gain by um, by reaching the head. And uh, Chop just settling himself again. He's taking a little bit more time in the game now. And uh, be playing down the forehand side. Yes, he's playing with weight, looking for a contact on the shot bowl or the jack. And he's close. He's very close here. He's got the bowl all the way. That's oh, a marvellous bowl. And it's two to Robin Chock. And it's Robin Chock who now leads this game by seven shots to three after five of the nine ends. This is quite incredible. So here he comes again on the forehand side. Plate. Just perfect weight, looking for the contact on his own ball or the shot ball, and he just got the perfect result. Shot ball clean as a whistle, two shots to Robin Chock, and a 7 3 lead. I don't think in uh, many years of the World Bowls Tour events we've seen a turnaround like this 12 1 in the first set, and now 7 3 the other way after five ends. It's very high scoring, 7 3 after five ends, two shots, two shots an end. So, um, so Robin chockey has gone for a slightly longer end this time. Now, can he get that first ball to the jack? <laughs> yes, 
Yes, he can. Much better opening bowl from Robin Chop. Slightly past, but that's where he wants to be. Gives himself a chance. Greg Harlow on the backhand side. So this will be a good test for the world number one. Trails by four. Still four ends to go. Still plenty of time in the game. But, um, and uh, just comes up short, but that will be the shot. Polite applause from the crowd. Robin Chop now on the forehand side. Again, just slightly over. Still a good position there. Hello again on the backhand side. And that's a great ball from Greg Hello. Just coming through, so still still quite a bit of room. Still but pretty it's open in there, isn't it, Bert? Yes. Two to Harlow. Robin Schock just taking his time. Young 27-year-old from Hong Kong. On well, the last time in this direction, Robin played his first three balls short and then bowled an absolute perler. And he's close here. Very close here. Is he going to get past the shot ball? He does not. Might be second shot. Yes, one red. So he does get second shot, which is important. Hello again on the backhand. I'm breaking into the head now, but again, he's just a little bit over. So it's still one to Greg Harlow. Trail 7-3. Robin Chop just checking the situation. One down. Still plenty of room for Robin Chop to draw a draw shot. Last time that in this direction he drew a magnificent last ball. Let's see what he can do this time. Breaking towards the head. Now he's close here. He's close. Does he get past just it? Down. No, he drops short. And that's disappointing for the... Now, Bert, just looking at this head here for the last ball from Greg, and he, interestingly, he's got the two balls on the left-hand side, and I just wonder whether he's tempted to try and come in on the backhand. He needs a few points on the board. He's starting to run out of ends, and uh, if he can nudge the jack to the left-hand side... Yes, he'll be looking to draw down on the backhand. Um, just any contact on the jack um, with reasonable weight is a good contact from be looking to, to add another shot and if he can get a touch on the jack make it make three so he's on the back end side now here he is on the left breaking towards the head now much better weight with this one than the last ball great ball and that'll be two degree Carlo <laughs> so we've played six of the nine ends in the second set and it's seven five to Robin Chock Greg Harlow having won the first set 12-1 and um, three ends to play. Good balls from uh, from from Harlow, but really that end was what we'd call a free hit. Yeah. Um, uh, Adrian really, you, you know, Robin Chock didn't get didn't get his his um, any of his four balls close. Just uh, looking at the screen now, Bert, and you can just see Robin Chock a three a two and a two. Quite incredible. Scoring heavily against the world number one in the four ends. I don't think Greg's had that done to him many times on the World Bulls tour. No, um, no, I think um, possibly having won the first um, the first set so convincingly, um, uh, he would have been surprised at how well Robin Chop um, played. So this first end of the this uh, first ball of the seventh end, and it's um, Greg Harlow with a, with a tidy opener. But um, plenty of room in there for Robin Chop.
three ends to go here. I think the panic station buttons have been pressed yet from the Harlow camp. It's a good, good opener from Chop. Just slips past. But um, good, good position here, and it's probably one to one to Chop. And he's got shot there for sure. Greg Harlow again on the back end side. Just looking to beat his first, but um, he'll be disappointed with that. That's a shorty. Um, not a good bowl from uh, from Harlow and. Um, Perhaps just not playing with his characteristic um, um, consistency in the second set. Robin Chop now. Interesting to see how often that happens in a match like that, that somebody who can be nailing balls early on can just go off the ball a little bit. Well, he had very little pressure on him in the first set, of course, um, and uh, Robin Chop just, um, just ending up... Um, well past the head with his his um, second ball, looking to to make sure he was around the short pole of Harlow's and just overcorrecting there. Um, still a good position ball, and Greg Harlow now on on the backhand again. Um, and um, here we again be disappointed with that. Oh, he's well out there, isn't he? Yeah, another very narrow ball from from Greg, very uncharacteristic. Now this may prompt Robin Chop to change his hand. Um, no, he's he's going to play play the forehand side again. Obviously, he's played consistently on that hand. Just needs to make sure he doesn't get tangled up with those short poles. So chalk on the forehand, looking to bisect those two bowls of Greg Harlow's, and he's played a good bowl here. Very good bowl here from Chalk. Excellent bowl from. For Robert Chop, that's two to Chop. A little unfortunate he's put them together. Here he comes on the forehand side, and just a nice little touch on the jack. Probably wasn't what he wanted, um, was to put two bowls together, but still, pressure goes on Greg Harlow. So it's Chop who leads 7 5 on the board. It's Chop who has two shots on the head, and really, this is a pretty critical bowl now in the context of this game. Hello. He's on the draw. Looking to see if he can reduce the count. He likes it. He likes it. Can it come in? He likes it a lot. It's got to bend and in. And it is the shot. Perfect ball for Greg Hello. Great pressure ball from the world number one. Wow. A real difference between the third and fourth balls there for Harlow. Absolutely nailed that one. He's the the the, um, the second and third balls. He he hurried off the mat a little bit with both of them, uh, but that one he he stayed back on the on the mat, and uh, so Chock now having a lot. He's still got a good opportunity here. He comes down on the backhand side. He's got the opportunity to sit the Harlow bowl. Any movement on that jack would. Um, would would make him shots. Um, so um, no need for him to push the panic button, and and indeed a good opportunity for him. Just having a look at the the head, obviously eyeing up the. He has all the back. He has all the balls behind the jack. So any contact on the jack, he must score unless he's incredibly unlucky. So does he play the backhand? Or does he look to play the f through the front bowls and look for a result? He's certainly uncertain. He's, he's got an interesting facial expression as he's on the mat here. He's, he's changed his mind a few times, I think. So he's playing the forehand, so he's looking for a contact on the front. No, he's gone back. Uh, on the backhand, he's looking for a contact on the front bowls. Does he get the contact? Oh, he's, oh, he's got his own. Well, it was an excellent, excellent attempt from Choch. Just wide. One to Greg Harlow, and it's seven six to Robin Chop, and two ends to play. I think your call very, was very valid there, Brett. I think if he'd have got the jack there, there was a there was a three waiting for him, and wow, we'd have been into the tie break. As it is, one shot now for Greg Harlow. This end will halve the set and give Greg the match. So, 
two two ends to go, Adrian. Oh. <laughs> so, um, so <laughs> getting a little ahead of yourself. Yes, I've, I've been doing this commentary too long today. <laughs> so, um, so, well, in that case, it's not so bad for Greg. Mm. So it's seven six to Robin Chow, two ends to go, and um, really the, the young Hong Kong players play some marvellous balls in the second set. He should be very proud of his um, He's been his brilliant. performance, and he's now got a great opportunity to um, to, to close out the second set. And he's making Greg Harlow have to play balls like this to win. He really pulled a brilliant ball out in that last end. Mm. So, um, so Robin Chop on the forehand. Nice smooth floor delivery. Breaking towards the head now. Just a fraction over, but that's a good opener from Chop. This um, coverage, of course, brought to you by 24-7 TV. Um, the latest and many innovations from the World Bowls Tour and, uh, and its partner, Horizon. Great bowl here. So well, two to Harlow. It has been a pleasure, actually, Brett, if I just say, the, um, talking to a few of the players, they've had relatives watching all around the world, watching these matches live, and I'm pretty sure that Robin's got a few relatives and friends who are watching this live as we speak and they can be very proud of his performance um really playing very well against the world number one but right now he's um he's got to keep his composure he's two down but he's close here he's very close here does he reach the head oh it's oh, agonizingly short it's it's a centimeter but it's cut a shot off it's yes. back to one it is second shot so that's very important um one to harlow Robin Chock leads by one. It's Harlow now, breaking into the head. I think he's short here. Yes, he's just dropped short. So the opportunity is there for, for um, Robin Chock. A contact on his green bowl is likely to get him the shot. Now he's asked to come up and have a look, and this is smart play from the youngster. Just wanting to make sure that he's very certain in his own mind what he's doing. I really have to say, Adrian, he's shown some great maturity in the second set. You know, he's calmed down and really got into his work and, and shown why he is really one of the, the most promising players that have come out of Hong Kong for um, for some time. Well, that's the, that's the incredible thing. Like, a lot of players, after a 12-1 defeat, and to be honest, you know, he really wasn't at the race at all in that first set. But he's not let that get him down, and he's, he's now giving Greg Harlow a really tough time here. Greg knows he's, he's in a match on this one. So Robin Chalk is on the forehand. He'll be looking to draw up to his green bowl and make a contact. He can afford to play this positively. He's got the bolts behind. Breaking now into the head. He's close here. He's close here. Does he get a contact? Well, he sits oh. down. Yes, and he gets the shot. That's oh. a brilliant bowl from Robin Chalk. That's a big clench of the fist there from Robin. Brilliant bowl from Robin Chock. So he slipped past his own bowl, perfect percentage weight, set the, the bowl of Greg Harlow's, sat down, out went the Harlow bowls, and it's one to Robin Chock. It's a difficult head here for, for Greg, actually. I'm, I don't think he's sure which, which way to come in, even. Yes, I think Greg will, will, will probably look to play the forehand side, uh, the backhand side, should I say. And, and look to, to draw up to his own bowl, but he needs to be careful because a slice of the jack on that side could actually mean he, he was he'd be too down. Yeah. The other alternative is to is to play with attacking weight on the forehand side and look to um, to come down onto the the chop bowls for some contact. But the way the bowls are positioned, it's quite difficult for Harlow to get the shot here. The the um, the shot bowl of chop slightly to to lock in with that ball, so decision time for Greg Harlow. I fancy he'll probably draw on the backhand, but um, it, um, based on the, the way he played that last end, he was pretty confident on the draw, but let's see. Yes, he's on the backhand. He'll be looking just to try and draw 
draw close on their pick inside. Breaking into the hit now. He's watching this closely. He's close. Oh, oh, marvellous ball from the Hallow. Ball. Oh, what an exhibition of balls we're seeing here but yeah. today. Yes, um, great ball from Greg Harlow. Um, just under underlining why he is the world number one. Um, no panic. Just um, just <laughs> slot one in there. Mm. There was space for a ball. Mm. Now this Roman Chalk has got a good opportunity here. The, the shot I think you'll play, or the, the, the shot I think he should play, is following the Harlow bowl down. Look to slip the shot pole. If he can get a contact on that jack, he must score. Because um, contact on the jack will either push it to his, his second shot, and best result would be to push it um, across to the left-hand side as the viewer is looking at the screen. And, um, and he could potentially make two or three shots here. Just having another look, making sure he's got the angles. So any any contact on that jack could push it um, towards his own ball. So a critical ball here for Robin Chalk. Got the side view there from that camera. So he's on the backhand. Just gone a little wide. He's wider. not looking happy, no. No, just a little wide. Weight was good. Wow. Just a little wide. He um, hasn't played many bowls on that backhand side. Um, so, we are all locked up. You were right, right, Adrian. It is 7 all. Yes. And it's safe to. S so, the, the scenario Greg, Greg Harlow's won the first hit 12 1. We're 7 all here. If Robin Chop can score on this end, we're into a tiebreaker. Absolutely. And. Robin Chuck has pushed Greg every step of the way in this set. And Greg's really had to pull, well, the last two ends, the quality ball down at the far end and the brilliant ball here. Greg's final balls on the last two ends have been absolutely top class. And he's only taken one shot from each end. Yes, you recall I said earlier in the, in the game, uh, one of the hallmarks of Greg Harlow's players, that ability to draw a really good, uh, good fourth ball. So here we are into the last end of the second set. There's Harlow on the backhand side. Looking to get a good close first ball. And he has. Well, I don't think that's going to be scoring at the end of it all, though. I think uh, yeah, poss possibly, the way Robin's playing. Possibly a good ball, though, because it's forcing Robin Chop to change his hand. And he has played that forehand side very well coming this way. Let's see how he plays the backhand. He likes it. Just a little short. Well, that'll be the shot. But as you, as you said, uh, and, uh, Alan Fornell just favours green. Yes, um, probably quite close, but. Greg Harlow now. He's played this backhand consistently coming this way, but um, he wouldn't want to turn that green ball any closer to the to the jack than it is. So, just contemplating his next shot. Logically, he'd swap to the forehand, but he has played this backhand side very well. Well, these two balls are quite awkward, aren't they? Because they're actually in the way of two draws either side and is that what Ed Greg's in fact he's gone for a bit of weight here yes he's obviously decided he's going to try and bury the jack here to um, to wrap up the game well yep. it gets the jack but it, it goes out, out of the rink and that means that the the jack is replaced on the on the spot Greg has a touch from the ditch and um, and it's Robin Chop now with a, a new game drawing to a um, to the spot so Chalk taking his time, just getting himself set. Well, we've now got Chalk has three balls, as opposed to Harlow's two, at this respotted jack now. Yeah, Chalk, really important that he gets a close pole here. And that's a Kiwi tactic I've seen in use before. 
throwing, uh, trying to get the jack into the ditch on the first bowl even. Well, it's the shot to chop, but really not where he wanted to be. He really needs to be a lot closer than that on this last end. And, and he knew it. He knew as soon as he let it go, it was, um, it was short. Still, the advantage is with chop. Greg Hunter now, third bowl. Back on his favoured backhand side. And um, he's um, he likes it. Breaking now towards the head. Looking a little narrow. Does he beat Chock's bowl? Yes, he does. Probably Ooh, to measure. Sitting down, yeah. Yeah, to me, it might still be Chock with the shot, I think. So another good opportunity for Chock here. Well, it's a much better line from the Hong Kong player. And a much better bowl. This is close. This is very close from Robin Chock. That is the shot. And that's a marvellous bowl from Robin Chock. <laughs> Sits down. Precious stuff from the Hong Kong player. Hello, having a look at it. Is it one or is it two? If it's, if it's one, I think he'll attack. He's got the bowl in the, in the ditch. He's asking to mark Alan Thornall who has the shot. Oh, who has second shot, I'm sorry. We know that Robin Schock has the shot. Alan Thornhorse having a good look. Didn't catch Alan's call there. Greg. Greg. So, the trouble is if Greg fires at this one, there's still another ball to come from up in here, and there's... There's a lot of wide spaces there. Yes, I think um, it's, a, it's a difficult call for the world number one. Um, he's um, taking his time. Let's see. Um, let's see what he plays here. That ball from Chuck has really made things difficult here for Greg. So I think he's going to draw on the fore, on the backhand side. He's played that hand pretty well. Can he do, can he pull this game out of the fire again? He's drawn the shot with his last ball, the last two ends. He's looking short. No, he's short. It's one to Robin Chock, and we're into a tiebreaker. It's a tiebreak. Sens oh. Sensational scenes here at Sheffield at the at the engage. International Open. It's Robin Chop from Hong Kong who has taken this um, this uh, second set, and who um, and who takes us into a tiebreaker. Well, that's just quite incredible. Here's the scorecard of that match. Uh, and it was those two sets. And it was um, it was the all one way traffic in the first set. Robin Chop, you know, being almost lucky to score. Second set though, it was Chock who, um, who really has played very, very well. They've, they've tossed in the tiebreaker. It was Greg Haller who won the toss and is elected to give the mat to, uh, to Robin Chock. And it's Chock who um, delivers on this, uh, this first tiebreaker end and he's opted for a long end. So Interesting that players who win the tiebreaker typically give the jack away and they want to have the last bowl. The last bowl's crucial. So, first to the jack here. It's not how many shots you score, it's who wins the end. First to the jack, so Robin Shock on the forehand. Oh, what a turnaround in this match, absolutely sensational. And while well, Robin Shock would put the world number one out, it's going to be one of the biggest shocks, I think, seen on the World Bulls Tour. Oh, and a great opener from Shock. What sensational play from the youngster. Down the ball sits. So that's a touch and a Robin Chalk. Great opener from the youngster. Greg Harlow now on the forehand side. And he's running. Attacking yep. straight away. To the top this. He's close. He's got the jack. Oh, and he's followed in. I don't know if we can see this from the far camera. The jack is in the ditch. And the question is, how much distance is there? 
So we need to see this from the far camera. If we can zoom in up there and have a look. Well, there's not much distance at all. Have a look at this. Oh, if you're rubbing chalk, you're not happy. No, great ball from Harlow, just um, just demonstrating his experience at this level. Um. Chalk, um, just wanting to see, obviously, if he can draw the shot there. So, so the the blue mark is um, the red mark, shall I say, is the mark where um, where Greg Harlow's toucher is. The yellow mark is where the jack is in the ditch. And um, and that's almost impossible to beat, isn't it? That's that very close. Yes, Robin Chalk will be needing to draw right to the ditch. So. Here he goes. So this is a, probably one of the hardest balls to play in uh, in the game of balls to draw right to the ditch, but he's got three balls to do it. Well, he's going to have a bit of practice here. And there's um, no reason to be short. My first one is a little short. That'll give him a sighter. So that gives him a gives him some direction. Obviously, Greg Harlow will be, um, he'll be looking to draw right to the ditch. No reason not to. Oh, Greg, oh, Brett, would you maybe think about blocking and just try and get a few balls in the way here now? You've got one that's very close. He's, um, uh, it's certainly an option, I, uh, I think. I think Harlow will play the backhand and he'll, he'll look to try and get one as close as he can. He, he won't want to give the the Hong Kong player any advantage. No, in fact, you're right. You're exactly right, Adrian. I think Greg Harlow's decided I'm just going to leave it as it is. It's um, obviously very difficult for, for Chock, Chock to get the shot, and he doesn't want to put a bold leaf for him to, um, to be able to, um, to touch the Robin Chock. He only needs the one shot, of course. It's, it's ends, not shots. At this situation, he's gone past Greg's block up. He's got better pace here. There's a round of applause, but it's still one red, I believe. It's a good ball from uh, from Choc. Um, fortunately, a camera angles here and making it difficult for us to, to be able to show you the hit. There, there's the bowls. Um, you can That's see the yellow... Another blocker here. You can see the yellow bowl of uh, the... So you can see the two bowls there from, from Robin Chop. The, the second one... Um, close, but still, um, still needing to, to beat that. And he needs to be right on the edge of the ditch. So there we go. That's a, that's an excellent angle. Um, that um, that bowl on the on the left. Can we go back to that image, please? The image showing the bowls on the jack on the ditch. So he needs to beat that green bowl to um, to win this end. So leave it on that image. And bowl now breaking towards the ditch. Let's put a bit more on breaking this. Breaking towards the ditch. Does he get on the edge? What a good ball. Does he get on the edge? Yes, he does. Oh, what a Unbelievable ball. Unbelievable ball from Robin Chock. Well, that is just sensational. But <laughs> Alan Thornhill, can you believe it, has said to Greg, it's still your shot. And Robin Chock said, I, what else can he do? It's hanging over the edge. I've just gone another look at it. <laughs> he couldn't have bowled it any better. And that just shows that the drive-through, really, that, mm. that green is hanging over the edge of Augusta. Mm. Can you believe it? Yep. Look, at, look, amazing ball from Robin Chock. I mean, he couldn't have been closer, but, you know, obviously the, the, um, the Harlow bowl in the ditch was very close. Yeah. So, um, so the Hong Kong player, um, really outstanding but bowl from him. Incredible. He actually appealed to the referee. The umpire said it was one to Greg, and he went, 
but how could I have bowled any better? <laughs> yeah, the truth be known, he probably couldn't couldn't have, but unfortunately, it was the bowl in the ditch next to the jack that counted. So at the first end of the tiebreaker goes to Greg Harlow. Robin Chock. And Greg's bowled short. Yes, Greg's um, um, dropped, dropped short with the jack. So it was Robin Chock who gave, gave um, Greg Harlow the mat. So Robin Chock will now re-deliver the jack. Um, but it'll still be Greg Harlow who plays first. Oh, and there's a mistake there from Harlow. He built the mat up really short. He wanted a short jack here. Yes, well, clearly he'd be mindful of the fact that um, he could potentially have um, have um, have a tap with the jack. No, it's a it's a mistake by Robin Schock. He's um, he's thrown the, the jack shorter than he wanted. Um, but um, anyway. It's, um, it's now Greg Harlow who'll be playing first. Well, what a match this has been, but anybody who says that bowls is boring. Uh, fan fantastic <laughs> bowls. Just to see any of this. Yeah, this is great sport in this game. Um, Greg Harlow, nice opener from him. About, um, about 12 inches from the jack, but still plenty of room for Robin Chock, and he's back onto his favoured forehand side, coming in this direction. I think we're going to be seeing a little bit more of this man from Hong Kong. Yes, um, he certainly earmarked himself as a very exciting prospect with his performance in this game. Um, coming down the forehand side, and he's close. Very close here. Breaking now. Just slips through, and it's one red. Well, he's run past, but he, I'm sure he's happy having one past the head. It's going to be in play for the rest of this end. So Greg, Greg Harlow again, world number one on the backhand side. Looking to draw a close shot here. Yes, and he's played this well. Very close here. Great ball. One and this to Harlow. It's quite wide and Chuck's going to look at that, thinking he can nestle in there. Yes, he'll, he'll still play down the forehand side there. Here he comes on the backhand side. Just got that touch on the jack. Um, but um, still room there for, for Chop. He's on the forehand again. Be looking to play down that side. Looking looking for a contact on the shot ball or the jack. And he's close. He's, he's very close here. He's very close here. He's got the jack and that's a marvellous ball. This crowd in Sheffield really starting to rally behind the Hong Kong player. And uh, that's the world number one who makes the, the journey up to the to the head um, to um, to inspect the damage. It's two shots to Chock. Um, um, let's look at that um, that shot again from uh, from Robin Chock. Um, well, I don't think there's anybody in this arena. When Robin scored his first point in the first set, there was a cheer went up in the crowd and. There was a like, yes, he's got a point, that's brilliant. But here they are now, they're cheering because of the quality of the bowls. Yes, it's bowl for bowl here in the, um, at the Engage International Open. Uh, world professional bowls at its best. And uh, right now it's the world number one, Greg Harlow. He's won the first end of the tiebreaker. We're into the second end of three. Of course, it's the who win, wins the end, not who scores. Uh, not how many shots you score. Um, currently it's two shots to Robin Chop. Greg Harlow swaps over to the forehand side and he'll be looking to draw down for the shot. It's two. Following his ball down, Harlow. He's close here. He's very close here. He's very close here. Does he get oh, gone through? He's gone through. Well, unbelievably he slips through between the jack and the ball. Here it comes on the forehand side. The Henson light breaks towards the head and it looks for all money like it's going to get the jack or the bowl and it gets the gap. So Robin Chalk now, he'll be swapping over and playing the backhand side. Must look to draw another tight bowl. Must look to give him, oh no he's still playing the forehand side. Obviously confident coming down that side. Looking perhaps just to see if he can drop in the way. Breaking towards the head now. He's played this well. He's played this very well. That's an excellent bowl from Robin Chop. 
good ball from him because it finishes in the way. So suddenly Greg Harlow has a different um, different challenge. So Chock just coming down there and just dropping short. Now Greg Harlow can still play that side, possibly looking for a contact off that left hand green bowl of um, of Chock's. Um, he's obviously got his ball catching, but I think quite a canny move by the, the Hong Kong player because suddenly the world number one doesn't have a clean shot at the head. He may come, he'll, he'll definitely play the full hand side. It's a question now, does he play it with draw weight or does he look to play it a bit with a bit more of attacking weight off that green ball? So, riveting stuff here at the Ponds Forge. International Hall and um, Greg Harlow his last bowl of this second deciding end the three end tiebreaker he's on the forehand he's probing with weight probing down that forehand side and he doesn't like it he's underneath the head and that's that's the second end to Robin Chock <laughs> Clinch fist from the Hong Kong player. He's pumped. He's shown a bit of emotion. It's unusual for a, a Hong Kong citizen to um, get a little bit excited, but he's getting well into this. Yes, no, he's um, he knows he's got the chance to score. Yeah, the greatest win of his career. Well, you've got and four balls separate him from from causing one of the greatest upsets in um, in the history of the World Bowls Tour. And um, he delivers this jack on the third end, and he has the opportunity with his first bowl to cement. Well, let's put this into perspective, Brett. Greg Harlow's won the last two opens here in Sheffield. He's the world number one. He's playing on a portable rink he's been playing on for five years on the WBT. And here's a chap from Hong Kong on his first WBT event, 12-1 in the first set, and he's now on the last end of a tiebreaker. And this has got to be one of the biggest upsets if Robin Chuck comes away with victory here. it would be one of the biggest upsets we've seen. So a great start from Chuck. It's a marvellous first bowl. Really playing some magnificent bowls here. The youngster, he's, he's, um, he's wound up. He's uh, hands, on his, um, hands on his shoulders. He, lot, I'm sure lots of nervous energy running through his veins. Uh, He's just trying to calm himself down, isn't he? He's looking away, he's just trying to say, calm down, mm. be relaxed. Mm. Greg Harlow swapping over to the forehand side this time. He hasn't played many bowls down this side. Um, and uh, breaking towards the head now. Breaking towards the head now. Does he get the shot? One yes, one to Greg Harlow. So... It's close. So the ebb and flow of this game is Robin Chock now onto the backhand side. Taking his time. Looking a little wide. Played wide on this, this side last time coming in this direction and yeah, that's not one of his better bowls. So it's one to Greg Harlow. There's a lot of players who are out here watching this, and in fact the whole of the BBC crew who are setting up here are watching this. As they're, they're expecting to see Greg later on when they're covering the semi-finals. So Harlow just slips through again. So it's still one, might be two to Greg Harlow. Robin Schultz asks the mark, Alan Thornall, can I come up and have a look? And um, just wandering up to have a look here. One in a measure, says Alan Thornall. So it's, it's one to um, in a measure to Greg Harlow, but just reminding you that, of course, it's only who wins the end that counts. So, Robin Chalk having a good look. 
every opportunity here. He can come down on that backhand side, touch on the jack, gets him the shot, or sit on that on um, Greg Harlow's ball, gets him the shot. So Chop just um, just wandering back now. Of course, here Greg does have the advantage. He's got the last ball in his end. Still, a ball right on the jack here now from from uh, Robin Chop would be decisive. So Chop now on the backhand side. The excitement is, is palpable. Yes, you can feel it in the whole arena. Everybody's it's waving the scent. Uh, again, he's gone. He's again, he's gone wide on that hand. Well, he's got back balls here. Just wonder the merit maybe of changing his hand on this end, even though um, Harlow had the shot. He's played that other forehand side so well, and um, just wonder whether he's made a bit of a tactical error in changing his hand. But Brett, what do you do here if you're Greg looking at this head? Are you going to look to try and put one round the back and say to Robin, I'm not going to make this head any bigger for you? Yes, it's a good call. Um, I think um, Greg will play the forehand and I think he'll, he'll look to try and draw another shot. Um, he, um, he knows he's got last bolt if the, if the jack was to be moved. Um, but I'm completely wrong. Uh, yes, he's got, he doesn't want to make the head any bigger, well, does he? I don't know. He's still not sure what he tried there. I think he perhaps just tried to draw to the green ball to sit it, um, or just to come past. So, so Robin Schultz got the dilemma now. Does he play? Does he draw? Oh, and he's played on playing already very fast. Yeah, this could be the last ball of the match. And again, I think he's gone too wide. He's not happy. He's not a happy man. No, He's looking isn't. after the ball. No. What a match. Yes, a dejected Robin Shock. He should be very proud of himself. But um, the shake hands if our cameras can. But just give us a summary there at the end. What a great response. What a great uh, shot there from Robin. Well, I think I think a marvellous. Um, Marvellous performance from Robin, but I think perhaps just just the experience on the last end. Um, uh, Robin Chock changing his hand to the backhand that he hadn't played many bowls on that that side, and really perhaps just a little bit of an experience showing there, um, where he still had the, he had plenty of room on the on the forehand side. Still a marvellous performance from Chock. I mean, just really top draw display from the from the uh, the Hong Kong player in the second set. And in those first two ends of the tiebreaker, yeah. Um, but um, but yeah, just a little bit of an experience, I think, on that um, on that last end. Um, but really, Adrian, I think we've we've seen a, a star of the future here. Absolutely. Um, someone who um, who really is um, it's going to we're going to see a lot more of here on the World Bowls tour. Yeah. So Quite significant when um, we see Noel Kennedy dropping out of the world's top 16. Here's a chap who could well. Uh, Yes, Noel Kennedy, the, the bandana man of um, of World Bowls. Um, of course, now um, now in um, in uh, temporary retirement from yeah. the, the world professional scene, concentrating on his um, on his family and on his professional life. And uh, and in Robin Shop, we have a worthy successor. Absolutely, what a star of the future. And uh, well, Brett, thank you very much for joining me here on this commentary. We're going to see more of you later on. And well, we've just seen Greg Harlow just by the skin of his teeth 12-1 in the first set but amazing fight back there from Robin Chuck and well he's going to be a man of the future isn't he he is and, uh, and uh, for all of the, um, the the viewers in Hong Kong they should feel very proud of, um, of Robin um, certainly marvellous performance from him and uh, and he um, uh, he's done what um, what many have failed to do in the last two years here at, at Sheffield and that is um, take Greg uh, Harlow the world number one and two time um, winner of this event to um, to a tiebreaker and, and in the in the tightest of finishes. So uh, congratulations to um, to Greg Harlow on winning the game, and congratulations to Robin Chock on a marvellous performance here at the Engage International Open.
Okay. Yes, Robin can hold his head up high. Well, Brett, thank you very much for commentary there. And we'll be seeing you tomorrow. First match up. It's the last first round match. Billy Jackson, the number 14 seed, plays Ross Stewart, qualifier. And we'll be back tomorrow at 10 a.m. Hope you've enjoyed this coverage. See you then. Goodbye for now.